Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Survive the Shows, where we deep dive into the world of television and we also celebrate the unforgettable characters that have graced our screens. Today we have something extra special in store for you. We will explore the minds of talented individuals who took on the challenge of portraying these unforgettable characters from the TV show of the first years of the 2000s that defined an era. We will uncover the secrets behind their performances, the journey of character development, and the impact they left on popular culture. We are joined by the star of the popular TV show, The OC. We are here tonight with our guest, Tate Donovan, who portrays Jimmy Cooper, Marisa's father, in The OC. You could also may know him from many more other projects. Welcome, Tate, and thank you for being here today. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> and let's begin. How did you approach the challenge of portraying such a complex character like Jimmy Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for saying that. Um, you know, uh, to be honest, I, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that much of a challenge, you know, it was, um, it was, uh, the, the script was very well written and uh, I sort of liked it from the beginning and I really wanted to get the role and, um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I just really liked the cast and, um, at, at the time the, the pilot was being directed by Doug Lyman, who was a very sort of famous director and, I really wanted to work with him and uh, yeah. So it, I have to say uh, my time doing Jimmy Cooper was um, not much of a challenge. It was kind of um, a lot of fun. And then, and then I sort of um, uh, went into directing and learned how to direct. Uh, um, and that was a challenge. That was uh, that was a real challenge to go from actor to director. That was, that was Great. tough. Yeah. And uh, what were the key characteristics or traits you focused on to make the character memorable and relatable? Um, what did I, I you know, <laughs> I just sort of, um, you know, actors, you know, they don't, um, you know, it's not like we think, oh, I'm going to do it this way to, so people will remember me. You know, it's really just sort of like, I'm going to just see how this goes. I'm going to, and if the writing is good and the other actors are good and the show is good, uh, then it becomes memorable, but it's not nothing that really that I did. You know, I just sort of like tried to play Jimmy as I kind of knew like who Jimmy was, you know, there's um, down in Orange County there, they had just come back from a big financial scandal, a big banking scandal in, um, in orange in the OC. And, uh, I sort of was like, oh, he's probably one of those guys who got involved in, you know, some sort of financial misdealings. And, um, but, you know, he's a good guy and he's a good dad. And, well, he's, I don't know how good a dad he is, but um, he thinks he's a good guy and a good dad. And, um, yeah, so I just thought about that. Yeah, great. And uh, were there any specific moments or chants or scenes that you find uh, particularly challenging or rewarding to perform? What what roles did you say? Sorry, I, I missed that. Uh, specific moments or scenes uh, of genius oh, uh -huh. that you find... Oh, okay. uh... oh yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Um, well, in the pilot, it was sort of like, um, you know, I had that breakdown in the, in the bathroom, you know, and Ryan sort of sees me. And um, I really liked that. That was one of the reasons why I, I kind of wanted to do the roles because it sort of showed the other side of, you know, the wealth and the, uh, uh, the culture in Orange County, um, you know, behind the scenes, you know, people are suffering just like everyone else. So, um uh, you know, that was an emotional scene and, and you know, that was tough. And, uh, but, um, uh, I'm trying to think, you know, every scene has its unique little challenge, you know, there's never, there's never a scene where you can like, ah, I can just take it easy. You know, like every, uh, there's a line that, you know, sticks in your mouth or, 
um, there's an actor that you you don't know the relationship with, and um, so um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, for me, you know, the the big challenge was learning to become a director. That was really a lot of fun and and very interesting. But that didn't happen until. Um, well, I didn't direct until the third season, but in season two, I started shadowing directors and started following them around and under learning what, what it's like to be on the other side of the camera. Yeah, interesting. And uh, how did you go about researching and understanding the background and motivations of, uh, of Jimmy? Well, like I said, you know... Um, you just sort of go on instinct. And I remembered, um, you know, the big financial um, crisis that they had in Orange County. And so I was like, oh, okay, he's, he's, uh, he's one of these guys who, uh, you know, sort of slips by financially and tries to get away with as much as he possibly can. And thank God, you know, he's got good friends, like, like uh, Peter Gallagher's character, who like sort of saves him in the end. Great. And uh, did you draw inspiration from real life individuals or other fictional character to shape your portrayal? Not really. No, no, no. Just sort of like a general idea of, you know, uh, uh, when I did it, you know, I didn't have kids of my own. Uh, and so to play Marissa's dad, you know, I sort of was like, oh, okay, I really sort of like... Um, Uh, didn't really know, but you know, it turns out I wasn't really the best dad uh, for Marissa anyhow. And, uh, um, and maybe it was good that I didn't know how to raise a kid <laughs> because I would have, I would have, um, my sister had teenagers at the time and she, I, she'd call me all the time and say, you're such a bad dad. Why are you, what, you know, you left your daughter drunk on the, you know, on the steps <laughs> of your house. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you think uh, the character you portrayed in the sea, Jimmy, has left uh, a lasting impact of popular culture? Well, it's 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 amazing how many people still love the OC. And and every time I go to Italy, I'm always like, hey, Jimmy Cooper, hey, Jimmy. <laughs> they know they they. I mean, the oh, Italians really love the OC. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm so glad that, uh, uh, Italians love VOC because I love Italy. So, you know, anytime you guys want me over there, I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to come. <laughs> And can you share any memorable fun encounters or experiences related to your character? A funny one or a particular one? <laughs> uh, well, you know, you know, what's really funny is that in the pilot marissa i mean not marissa um M melinda clark who pay, who plays um you know my wife um oh gosh julie cooper yes. sorry <laughs> um she wasn't originally she wasn't we were like going to get a divorce and we weren't going to um she wasn't going to be in the show it was just going to be me and marissa and she was so good I mean, Julie Cooper is just so great. Melinda Clark is just like the greatest actress that they started writing for her and putting her in the show. And then she ended up, you know, being in the show longer than I was. You know, I was only really in it for one season. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was it was she, to me, she she's the great success story of uh, of that show. Uh, and, you know, her and. um Her and Rachel Bilson, yes. who plays, uh, um, yeah, uh, she, she, um, they have a podcast. I don't know if you get it in Italy because it's all in English, but they have everybody. It's called Welcome to the OC Bitches. And um, have you listened to it? Yes, uh, on YouTube, uh, we, we can, uh, oh, yeah? oh, good. we can oh, see good. that, uh, watch it in, uh, in English. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so good because it's really, um, Uh, it was so much fun to be on that show. And, and it was really, I think, very healing for everybody, you know, to come back and, you know, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. I'm so happy they, they made that podcast. Yeah. And uh, did you expect uh, the character to resonate with audiences in the way that he did? Why do you think uh, his track uh, assured with people, Jimmy Cooper? 
Um, I think that um, I didn't expect it. No, I, and no one knew when we started the show that it was going to be a hit and that we'd still be talking about it 20 years later, you know. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, it uh, I, I'm not too sure why it resonated. I think, I think it's because the writing is so good and, you know, Josh Schwartz is um, a really smart guy because he, he used a lot of soapy elements, you know, that are in a lot of soap operas, but he's very funny. You know, there's a lot of funny characters. I mean, Adam Brody is hilarious. And uh, there's a lot of good acting. I mean, Peter Gallagher is one of the best actors going. And um, the whole cast was was great. And and um, uh, and also the music. The music is so good. I mean, I remember when we were, we'd, we'd listen to the soundtrack. You know, we would do these episodes and then we'd, we'd see them with, to everybody else you know and um we were like whoa this, this soundtrack is amazing you know we'd always i'd always go up to uh, alex patsavis who was in charge of the music and i'd say hey man do you have a, can i can i get a cd it was back in the days when we had cds yeah. and uh she she'd give me all this great new music that she was going to use great and uh, how the, how has the character jimmy affected your own career and the opportunities that have come your way um, that's a good question. I'm not too sure. Um, all I know is that when I go to Italy, people really, really love it there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, that's affected my life, which is great. It's always fun to have somebody um, be excited to, to meet you, you know? Yeah, it's really fun. Great. And, uh, um, can you share any funny or memorable behind the scenes uh, moments uh, that occurred uh, during filming the series? Oh, let's think. Um, funny things that happened. I mean, it was kind of fun all the time. I'm trying to think. It was a long time ago. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know, you know, we, um, Peter Gallagher was a lot of fun to, to, to act with. I'm trying to think, uh, oh gosh, well, there's one scene where we're playing golf together and, um, you know, there's a scene where we tee off and stuff like that. And, you know, the crew's all around and stuff like that. And, you know, but they stay out of the way. They know that there's a golf ball being hit, you know, but, uh, one time I hit the golf balls so badly that I shanked it. Like it was an impossible angle. Like everyone thought they were being really safe, but I, I hit it so badly that it went flying straight out that way and almost hit like um, one of the makeup and hair girls. And that would have been a disaster, but um, I, mean, I wasn't too great of a golfer, even though it, it comes across that I look like a pretty good golfer when I'm in the scene. But uh, in reality, those balls were, all over the place. <laughs> and uh, what a message or legacy do you hope uh, Jimmy or JC leaves behind for the future generations of viewers that are watching it on Prime Video or uh, the platform? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, you know, uh, I think that the legacy of the OC is um, to have fun, with the plot and your characters and make it entertaining, but also grounded in reality. And what's it like to feel like an outsider to have parents that abandon you and um, all sorts of the, I mean, it's difficult to be a teenager, you know, there's a lot of tough stuff. I mean, everyone says, Oh, it's the best time of your life, but it's also can be very tricky. So, and it's also tricky for parents to be, um, Uh, that was one of the sort of good things is that I got a lot of parents coming to me and saying, hey, I really appreciated your, you know, your relationship with Marissa or blah, 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 or, you know, the Coens, you know, they had a great relationship with their son, you know, and taking in a, another kid and sort of adopting them. And um, it's yeah, it's great. It, it's it's got a very good message of of, um, you know, sort of. Um, Uh, normalizing, uh, you know, people discussing the difficult things in their life and, and also making it really fun and entertaining and, and cool to watch. Yeah, I agree. 
And uh, throwing back uh, to the origins of your career, how did the passion for acting come about in your life? Well, you know, I always wanted to be an actor. I was a little kid and I, I was, uh, I don't know, four or five years old and I went to a movie with my parents and I wanted to sit alone and pretend that I was like an adult. And, and uh, I don't remember what the movie was, but it was about medieval knights, you know? And, um, and I just looked up at that screen and I was like, man, I want to do that. You know, I really want to do that. But I also knew, it's kind of funny, uh, I was like, hmm, if I want to do it, a lot of people must want to do it. So um, I sort of kept it a secret. And like my family, my father was a doctor, my mother was a teacher, and they were not into uh, actors, you know what I mean? Like, they just thought it was like a bunch of crazy, you know, drug addicts who were actors, you know. So um, I had to keep it a, a, a very close-held secret. And until I got into college and I studied acting and I threw myself into it and I was lucky enough to, to make a career. Great. And uh, among all the roles you have had the chance to play throughout your career, is there any particular role you are most fond of? Well, um, most of the best roles I've gotten um, have been in a theater, you know, in New York on Broadway and stuff like that. But um, being a part of movies like Argo um, and, uh, you know, stuff like that, I, you know, that was one of the great experiences in my life to be a part of, uh, you know, Academy Award winning film. That was really, uh, really cool to travel to Turkey and Um, just to work with those actors and those designers and those that director. I mean, Ben Affleck is is one of the great directors going. And um, yeah, so that was that's a highlight for sure. Yeah, great. And uh, if you had uh, to give uh, some advice to people who wanted to pursue an acting career or a directing career, which kind of advice would you give them? Oh, well, I, I would um, I would focus on becoming a good actor and scene study and um, do uh, take as many acting classes as you can and be in as many little films as you can. And every time you do a role, you gain valuable experience. And um, uh, I feel so lucky that I got to study theater. You know, I got to do tons of different roles. You know, I was terrible at them, you know, like... But, uh, you know, like, how do you play? I played the god of Poseidon, you know, like in some, you know, Greek tragedy, you know, you're like, I'm sure I was terrible, but I learned a lot from being terrible. So, um, you know, uh, I would throw yourself into, you know, making mistakes and just getting up there as much as you can. And um, don't worry about the fame. Don't worry about the all the trappings that come with them. Um, and if you fall in love with just the craft of acting, You're, you're set for life. Great. And the last question, what can you tease about your next projects? Ah, oh, let's see. Well, um, I am in a, a movie that just came out in America, and uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's out. You guys get Apple TV, right? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. So it's with... Um, It's with Anna de Armas and a, a Chris Evans. It's called a movie called Ghosted. Yes. Uh, and it's a really fun, fun movie. And I play uh, Chris Evans' dad, uh, who's like a farmer. And it's really, it was fun part, fun movie. Great to work with the director, Dexter Fletcher. And then there's um, another movie that I'm coming out in, I think Christmas, around Christmas here in America, called The Leftovers. And that's directed okay. by Alexander Payne. And Alexander Payne is one of the great, um, and Paul Giamatti, I don't, you know, Paul Giamatti? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's a great, great actor. And he's the star of that movie. And uh, I have a small part, but it's, uh, it's really a great movie. Great script. Great. And thank you, Leighton, for joining us today and sharing your experience with us and for your time. Yeah, grazie, grazie for having me and, and uh, have a great day. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying our trip in the memories and thank you for watching. Bye. All right. Ciao.